everybody, Eric Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a little Valentine treat for you today featuring the Friendly Gnome stamp set from the 2023 Stampin' Up! Spring Mini Catalog. They coordinate with the Gnome dies. These were in the fall catalog and they carried over. Um, so if you got these in the fall, you've got a new stamp set to use with them. They are still available if you didn't get them in the fall in case you want to get them with this stamp set. All right, so let me just show you what we're making. I have created a little box to hold one of these little mini Rice Krispie treats. These you'll find in the Valentine section. Um, they're small little bite-sized Valentine treats, or really you could use any candy you wanted to put in there. To make the box, I have cut two large something fancy tags um, from Sweet Sorbet. I'm gonna stamp some Hearts using this stamp right here from the Share Milkshake stamp set. And I'm going to stamp them just all over the one. I, I'm not going to worry so much about the back side. Um, all over the front using Sweet Sorbet ink. And really, you just need to go around the edge because most of the center is going to be covered up. All right. Now for the inside part, the part that holds the box together. I'm gonna need my Simply Scored and a piece, pretty small piece of Sweet Sorbet. Um, the measurements for this are on a free PDF over my blog if you want to grab it so you don't have to scratch them, scribbly, you know, scribble them down on a post-it note that you're gonna lose. I've got a free PDF for you over there. All right, it measures six and a fourth by two and a half. And on the long side, we're gonna score it at two and a fourth and four. And on the short side, we're gonna score it at half an inch and two. That's it, just four score lines. Now take your bone folder. And burnish those lines. Now most of this box is gonna be hidden. So I'm not gonna to worry too much about, you know, making it fancy and perfect because it's gonna be hidden behind these two tags. I'm gonna take tear and tape and run it down the long sides. Notice I haven't snipped my score lines yet. Um, on something like this, I like to do it after the adhesive because it just makes it easier. Instead of having to pull off six backings, I only have to pull off two. All right, so now I'm gonna take my scissors and snip those score lines there in the middle. All right, now we're gonna basically fold this up in the shape of a U, it's a U-shaped box, okay? And you can just kind of eyeball it to get it square. Push in those inside flaps like that. Now get your tags that you have cut out, two sweet sorbet tags. And we're gonna adhere that to the back. Before I press it in, I'm gonna look also. Let's see, you wanna center it so that it won't be seen on the tops, the sides, or the bottom. And you want it to be straight. Okay, I think I got it. Now we're gonna do the same thing here. Sometimes you could go like that it might get it, be a little bit easier to get it flush with the bottom. It takes a little bit of trial and error. I will I will admit that for sure. There we go. Make sure it's nice and flush. Actually, let's go over just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna have to get down and look at it. Okay, I think we've got it now. There we go. Okay, <laughs> there's your box. Easy, right? All right, so now I'm gonna take just a hole punch, punch in both tags. If you wanna get fancy, these tags actually come with some dies that will cut those circles at the top. But I'm just gonna use a hole punch. All right, I've got my little treat in there. Um, on this one, I use seam binding, and this time I'm gonna try our uh, glitter organdy ribbon. Let's see if I can get this to go through those holes. We also have sweet sorbet colored ribbon. If you want to use that, you could. 
or maybe our black and white gingham ribbon. All right, and let's tie a bow. These would make cute little table favors too. Now the sentiment I chose for this treat says hello. I know my kids, when they were small and we did Valentine treats, they did not want anything mushy gushy. So no, I love yous, nothing like that. So a little simple hello <laughs> makes for a very generic platonic Valentine treat. Yeah, I definitely think I like that ribbon better. So see how it says hello. We're going to use the conversation bubble stamp set for that. But let's do our coloring first. We're going to stamp the little mushroom on this small um, stitched circle from that is a basic white cardstock. I'm gonna stamp it in memento black. And we're gonna stamp the gnome just on basic white cardstock. And we'll color those with Stampin' Blend. Let me bring them all over. I have two other gnome projects um, on my blog post today if you're looking for ideas um, make sure you check them out um, i'm sticking kind of with the same color scheme across all three because on the other two i used the country floral lane designer series paper and it was um, sweet sorbet balmy blue and it had a uh, soft sea foam i believe in it as well so those are the colors I'm using for this project. Now I'm just taking my light sweet sorbet, coloring in his hat, and I'm gonna add in a shadow over here on the left side, like this. And then you can take your light and just kind of blend that over. I'm gonna also use my dark here for the heart. I prefer the bullet tip end of my marker. I used the brush tip there on the hat earlier and I could already see that I got out of the lines. I just do better with a bullet tip for whatever reason. Okay, now while I have my sweet sorbet open, I'm gonna come over here and underneath the mushroom, I'm gonna do the dark. All right. And then I'm going to use the light and I think I will switch over this time to that bullet end. And I'm going to use the light up here on the top. These little bumps on our mushroom, I'm going to leave them white. So I'm just going to very carefully go around making sure that I keep them white. Take some concentration. If you go too fast, you will definitely color over them. All right, I think that's all that we need from Sweet Sorbet. Now I'm gonna take my um, soft sea foam and I'm gonna color in his little shirt and his pants like that. I'm gonna come over here to the grass and I'm also gonna color the leaves and the little, the little flower stems. You wanna leave those steps. We'll color those with soft suede in a little while or crumb cake, the little stepping stones. All right, I'm gonna make this go all the way to the bottom of our circle like that. All right, I'm gonna leave his um, beard white. He'll be like a an old gnome with a white beard. We'll do his shoes and dark crumb cake. I'm gonna come over here and do this door. I'm gonna outline the door in dark. 
do the bottom and the doorknob and we'll do the little window seal as well and then we'll get our light crumb cake color in the rest of that door and we'll do the little stepping stones all right now petal pink i'm going to use petal pink here for his nose and his hands and for the bottom of our mushroom. We have lots of options for skin tone. Um, I'm just keeping it simple with Petal Pink, but you can use any colors, any color skin tone that you prefer, of course. All right, now last but not least, I'm gonna take Balmy Blue and color in those little flowers. Oh, let's do the window as well. Okay. All right. Now, last but not least, let's take Wink of Stella. And I'm going to, let's do his hat and the heart. Now, I'm going to brush it off over here on my scrap. Make sure I get any of that red off before I come over here and do the little dots, spots on the mushroom house. Okay. Oh, before we bring the cut and emboss machine, let's do our other piece as well. We're going to stamp the Hello Conversation bu Bubble in Versamark on Balmy Blue. I've used my embossing buddy to hopefully get rid of any static that might hold our embossing powder in the, the places we don't want it. All right, and then we'll just put some white, tap it off. And hit it with your heat tool. As soon as you see it turn bright white and shiny, you know that it is done. All right, now we are ready to cut with our cut and emboss machine. We've got our little die right here for our gnome. And for our conversation bubble, we've got this one right here. Now, I have a complete supply list over on my blog. It will have all the measurements as well as the complete supply list. In case I forget to tell you what I'm using, I always type up a list for you. Let's see, did I bump that out of the way? There's our balmy blue hello and our gnome. And now we're ready to put it together and start handing out our Valentine treat. I'm gonna use dimensionals for all of this. So we'll start with our circle right here. And then our gnome, we're gonna put Let's see, actually, we want, we want our dimensionals on the left side of our gnome so that he can be right there. And then we'll get one more and put it right there. And there you have it. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. Make sure you click the link here on YouTube, hop over to my blog, grab that free PDF, and check out the other two adorable gnome projects that I have for you. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.